When you're adding buttons or areas using GUI layouts in your editor, why not make them a little bit more Unity looking? You know, make it all blend in, like the toolbar from my recent video on Inspector Header Toolbars. Now to do this, we could look at the Unity documentation, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really have anything on this. So how do we do it? Well, we hack about, of course. Firstly, let's create an editor window. We'll call it Editor GUI Style Cheat Sheet, and we'll launch it using the menu item on a static method, and we'll drop in an on GUI method. You, you know how to build editor windows. Hopefully you've been paying attention to this channel. Now, there are a lot of styles to choose from, so let's wrap everything in a scroll view. And if you look at the code for GUI skin, you'll notice there's an emulator, and we're going to cheat, we're going to hack that, we're going to pull that in, and we're going to chuck that into a loop. And now we're only interested in the stars, so let's just check for those, and everything else we'll just ignore. Now we have each style and we want to display them. How do we do that? Well, let's firstly write the name of the style in a label, so we know what it is. Then we can display the actual style of itself, in another label. Now, sometimes the style is an image rather than anything else, you know, some formatting. So we'll just draw the image itself. Otherwise, we'll use the formatting to write out the name of the style again as just some text in the label. Now, lastly, we want to space everything out. So let's add some space using the sizing of the style with the screen width for reference. So jumping into Unity, and we can now see all the pretty styles available to us. And we can pick which style we want but uh, you'd have to look at the label and type it out again. So let's make our lives easier. Where we have our labels, we'll stick a button in front of it and we'll just copy that style name. So wrap the label in horizontal group, add some flex space after the label, and before it, we'll add a new button with a little picking icon tool that we'll rob from Unity. As for the style of the button, I wanted to show how to use the styles. So we'll use the gooey.skin.find style and in this case, I want to use a toolbar jump button because it just fits with what we're actually doing. Now in the button itself, we're gonna copy the text to the system clipboard using editor GUI Unity method, system copy buffer. And because we're good little devs, we'll notify the user that the style has been copied using a notification. Otherwise, do they know if they press the button or not? Now, we can scroll down to view all the styles and rob the ones we fancy with little to no friction. But why stop there? We're on a roll. So there are a lot of stars. And if we want to just see the buttons, let's stick in a search toolbar because we'd have to go through and find each button in between everything else. So yeah, a search toolbar makes sense. So we create a horizontal area at the top and we'll set it to look like a toolbar for the width of the window. Then we will create a text field that looks like a toolbar search field. You can see us using all these styles here. Now we compare the search terms and store the change, and we compare a lowercase version of the string and GUI style name and kick on if they don't match. And now we have a quick cheat sheet for styles. And that's it. Alternatively, you can just use UI Toolkit and style something all of your own. It's supposed to be the default for editors now, but you know, I never got the memo.